Okay, let's do number um, 17 and number 15. And I think I missed. This is actually a Limacon. Limacon, I think so. I'm not too sure. I think this is a Limacon because we're going to get what we call a Lima scat. So I've got to watch your pronunciations on these things. So this is r squared equals 4 cosine of 2 theta. This is what we're going to be graphing in number 17. Now this is going to be, r will equal the square root. So if I solve this, I'll get r equals plus or minus the square root of 4 cosine of 2 theta. All right? So I'll have to take the positive and the negative. It's kind of like a circle. It's going to give me the top and the bottom of this curve. So I'll say r equals, and then we'll just have the square root, second square root of 4 plus the cosine of 2 theta. Oh, sorry, 4 times the cosine of 2 theta. And the negative square root. 4 cosine 2 theta. And I think our window is going to be negative 3. So go back and change, change our window a little bit. Well, it's about the same, so I guess we can graph this and see what happens. And you see we're getting the Lima scat. And it goes out to about 2. Curves around, a little bow tie type thing. Let's take a look at that. So how are we going to get sketch that? So it goes out to about two. So this is one two using this scale, and it goes and just crosses. It goes up to about one. Okay, something like that. Looks like mine's a little bit deeper than my graph. So let me get this down a little bit here. When I did a graph, when I did um, when I was an engineer majoring, we had to take um, Technical drawing, boy, we use you use that eraser a lot because you were sketching things, and I even had a little brush, so you would brush the parts of your eraser off the board so they wouldn't smear the drawings. Since then, you're always erasing things and tweaking things. Now they do everything with computers, but. You gotta tweak this, try to get it a little bit better, so you keep erasing and refining your drawing. I know you guys are gonna all, all want to do them perfect, so. <laughs> so that looks a little bit. Eh, I don't like this over here. Don't count it. Can mess around with these a lot, so. And that looks pretty close to what we got, I think. That's that. And there's my sketch. So it's pretty close. Alrighty, so that's pretty much what what we have there. Okay, and that's a Lima scat, L E M. So hopefully the E stands sounds, L E M N So this is a Lima scat, S C A T E. Oops, did I miss a C? Talk on it. Let's see, uh, messed that up. Lima scat. And I know one sounds like I, one sounds like E, so I think it's Limacon and Lima scat. All right. My good old white out here. 
see what we got here. So let that dry, then we'll write that out again correctly. Lemascat, L-E-M-N-I-S-C-A-T-E, -E, Lemascat. Okay. And let's do number 19 to see if this is done. So 19 will be up here, and that's just going to be a nice easy one. Clear this, clear this, and that's going to be 4 sine of theta. And I'll change my window a little bit. Remember, my T-step is going to be 0.1. And I'll make it negative 7 to 7. And negative four, four, and we'll graph this guy, and it looks like it's a circle. Now it doesn't look like a circle because of this, so we might want to go zoom square. And then you can see it is a circle there. So sometimes you can't tell, but in this case it is a circle. And it looks like looks like the radius is going to be four. It's coming down here. Well, the radius is two. Excuse me. It looks like the radius is going to be two. One, two, three, four. The diameter is four. One, two, three, four. So now I'll be able to sketch that really good because I got my little template. I know it's kind of cheating, but. It's going to be easier to graph. This was one of my best acquisitions here. It looks like we're okay right there. should work. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger to give me a little bit of trace space. There we go. And that's a circle. That's nice. Okay. And now let me fix Lemus. Lemus scat. N I S C S C E. Lemus scat. Okay. Let's take a look at these, try to get a feel for the name of these and sketching them. Taking a little bit of time to sketching them will help you kind of lock them in.